Well, Joe, I guess we're going to be tortured with another crappy theology video today, right? Spot on, Tim. Today we get to watch the key parts of a video titled Disproving Christianity, Jesus is Alive by Jacqueline Glenn. Hey, I've heard of her. Isn't she the fundy atheist who'd lose nine-tenths of her vocabulary if she had to use only words with more than five letters? That's the one, Raven. But don't worry, we've picked one where she keeps it pretty clean, and we'll be only watching about four minutes of it. Well, that's a relief. What's the subject of those four minutes? Well, Tim, it's about how the story of Jesus was stolen from the stories of the pagan gods Horus, Krishna, and Mithra. Any chance you could just eject me into space instead? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Tim. Well, I guess we better get this over with, then. Yeah, let's do this. <coughs> And talking about the story of Jesus and why I don't believe it and it's not that I don't think that there was a man named Jesus that existed that could have been very well you know that that's fine that has nothing to do with my point the point is, is good grief does that anything have you, to do with your point um, it took you over story. half the video there before so this to get to it stories mythological stories um, before Jesus that had almost the same exact storyline that he had uh oh, here we go. Scholarship from the grocery store gumball that machine. They were born of a virgin, that were human yet divine. Their father was even a carpenter, but their real father was God. They were brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh by wise men on their birthday, December 25th. Yeah, and now we're being brought well. crap, garbage, and ignorance by an unwise woman. Were the Savior, the Messiah, the way, the truth, the light. They brought salvation to people. They died as a martyr. Yeah, I think someone's on a being cross, fooled into thinking Dorothy Murdoch is a real scholar. Heaven, and that story is not unique to Jesus. In fact, it's almost entirely. Yeah, well, your arguments aren't unique. They were debunked in the and 1890s. That's what I want to go through in this video. I'm going to spend a little bit of time going through three or four different gods that have almost the same exact characteristics as Jesus. This is something that, whenever I found out the the details of this, was completely shocking to me. I felt. A pissed. I felt like I had been tricked my whole life, and it was. Yeah, you've of, been tricked by um, 19th century the, the free thinker straw scholarship. Straw camel's back, kind of saying it, it was the last straw for me. Like I, I, after seeing all the similarities between Jesus and gods before him, it was like, what? What is the point of believing? Sure, and what's the point of consulting reputable scholarship, so, too? first god I want to go over is Horus. It was a god that was written about in the Egyptian Book of the Dead in 1280 BC, and here are some of the similarities. First of all, he was a son of God. Some people disagree whether or not he was born of a virgin, but that's in some stories of him. He was baptized oh, oh, maybe, in the earth, lady. tempted in the desert, and the sick, cured the blind, cast out demons, walked on water. He raised someone named Asar, A-S-A-R, from the dead, and that actually literally translates to Lazarus. He had 12 disciples, he was Man, crucified, and rose like from the points. dead. Later. That's just a few things. They didn't have that much in common. sent from heaven to earth in the form of a man, both called the Savior, the second person of the Trinity. His adoptive father was a human what? and a carpenter. Oh, come both on. were visited at birth by wise men and shepherds, guided by a star. Both were without sin, they were both God-men, both being human and divine. Both performed many miracles, Why does she keep including popping around disease, like one that? of them being... Yeah, it's getting me dizzy, it's like she's both hyperactive or something. demons and raised the dead. Both selected disciples to spread his teachings. Both were meek and merciful. Both were criticized for associating with sinners. Both celebrated a Last Supper. I'd like Both to celebrate the Last Supper. Both descended of this into hell video. and were resurrected. Many people witnessed their ascensions into heaven. to the last god, Mithra. Mithra oh boy, this one's god. my favorite, the, the god with the smurf hat. To live as a mortal. He died for our sins so that sinners could have everlasting life. But of course uh -oh. he was resurrected. Mithraic scholars say there is no death of Mithra, a pea brain. And guess what? He was born in a manger with lots of shepherds and they referred to him as the light of the world. He also had 12 disciples and they also had a last supper before Hey guys, you suppose Mithra's last guy supper king of fries and a coke? Symbolic meals of his flesh and blood. Pictures of him often depicted a halo around his head and HQ was guessed what, on the Vatican Hill in Rome. 
Now, a lot of different religious scholars will debate certain aspects of these different gods and say, well, that wasn't true and that wasn't true, but you can't begin to debate them all. You can't say that there's well, no credibility for any of them being for historically any of them. accurate and historically accurate as saying that's how the people viewed that particular god. There, you can't dispute every single claim. The point yes, is, is these three gods had so much in common with the story of Jesus. No, they don't, but you have a lot in common with him. other fundy atheists. And it seems like nobody knows about this. I didn't know about it until quite recently, whenever I started researching religion and it became interesting to me. And it just boggles my mind that yeah, there's so many pretty similarities. Yeah, your mind's pretty easy to boggle, isn't it? But people will just dismiss it and ignore it. Ignore contradictions in the Bible, fine. Ignore different things in the Bible that seem out of time, that people were biased by, you know, their ignorance of science at that time when they wrote it. Ignore that, fine. But yeah, let's get started this, ignoring her before our brains like turn into sushi. So really plagiarized by Man, that cat is smarter than she is. It. How could you possibly... <laughs> Well, guys, what did you think of that one? Oh, uh, Joe, that was just ridiculous. One more funny atheist who got scammed by 19th century bogus free-thinking texts brought into the 21st century. Get me a match. It stinks in here. Yeah, really. Is there anything more painful than watching funny atheists who think they're well-informed trip all over themselves talking trash? Well, if there is, I'm sure we'll get to watch it. See you next time.